All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Inside the Puzzle today here with uh, Sparkman. What's hey, up, Sparkman? Sparkman. All right, cool. So uh, we're at uh, Game Day uh, TCG, and we're with Chris Shock. Uh, Chris Shock, uh, what did you do today? Uh, we got first place. Nice uh, case tournament for uh, One Piece, right? Yep. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, how many rounds you played? Uh, it's going to be six switch rounds, uh, three elim. Oh, uh, that's, dope. Cut. that's dope. You've, uh, you've been here pretty late. Yeah. Oh, what you play today? And uh, my showing this video. Uh, played kid. The green. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, medical or just best deck? Uh, probably best deck has least weaknesses. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Just good, good cards all around. All right, cool. Uh, do you mind explaining uh, the deck a little bit and giving us a detail? Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we play green. Uh, we play kid. Okay. Best cool. green leader. Uh, don't think I need to explain why it's the best one. Oh, uh, he has double attacking. Yeah, and, yeah very uh, important against purple because uh, you know you really don't want to play anything uh, on the board. So yeah, they, they have those board up. wipes. I feel it. I feel yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, You know the card that blows up like everything. So you want to be using something when you're done, right? Oh, and, so you're just using him as the main strategy versus purple. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Basically the best card against purple, the leader, not nothing else. Okay, okay, okay. I like that, I like that. Alright, so I'm gonna go with the one drops, right? Alright, so we got four Bonnie, four uh, Momonosuke, and four of the blocker. Uh, these cards kind of act like a blocker, but they're kind of better, right? Because you're pulling on force to attack this, or you're gonna draw more cards. And you already drew a card, you're already gonna get cards off this end on the first time you play it. So they're actually kind of better than blockers, actually. So, yeah. Alright, because they just had so much resource and advantage. Yeah, like, your opponent has to attack this. If they ignore it, like you're just gonna keep on, yeah, keep yeah, on gaining time. Ramp up engine. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. And uh, one drop blocker, you know. Um, Absolutely mandatory. Of course, of course. You gotta play both of these. I see some people don't even play this one, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you think this is good, you definitely gotta play this one. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess they're not trying to win if they don't play both. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Alright. Now this is a blocker that actually draws cards, another one. Mm, okay, okay, kill it. I really need to explain this. I mean, when you block with this, you draw a card if you have three more and the dawn attached to it. That's fire, that's fire. Yep. Uh, Mama Shoot. Uh, you know, <clears throat> playing this card is a Lano, so you get off, uh, you know, Momonosuke. And you don't have to play Straw Sword. And it actually has counter power, so this is, in my opinion, is better than Straw Sword. Okay, okay, I like that. And it just won me the last game, right? That is, that is very true. When uh, you played it against the blocker and you swung yeah. for game, <laughs> yeah. you were just like, hold it. This is pretty much uh, what is useful. And uh, maybe in the early turns, like, it's, it's okay uh, tapping on your opponent's guys. And oh, because you can, like, trample them yeah, and just kill them like, Especially quick. if they have, like, bonnies. Like, bonnies that they didn't have enough... Uh, oh, to, like, use and set up. Enough have... to tap, so you just tap them down and just kill them. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And Rizo. So this is... Almost like another blocker that draws cards as well. Uh, yeah. So, so it says uh, once return if you have two or more uh, rested characters, draw a card. Yeah. So as long as you have another guy rested, you attack with this, you draw a card. Sort of like Bonnie, but cost more, and they have to attack it, or you're gonna keep on drawing cards. Oh um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so this is what I mean by like. Check the bosses too. Yeah. So they, this is what I mean by like they're sort of like blockers, right? Your opponent has to attack them, and you're gonna gain value off them immediately when you when they're rested. Oh okay. Yeah. And it's a Wano, so it's searchable. All right, we got four Drake. All right, so I mainly play this just because of it's it's a decent card. It's not the greatest card, but it's got counter power, right? And uh, I didn't want to play too many cards that didn't have a count, didn't have a counter power. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. We're gonna so you get the, that counter yeah, power. Yeah, so you could defend easier. That's why I also don't even play any. Uh, I don't play any events as well. Oh, because you just don't feel like they're like optimal for most like cases. Yeah, I have to keep up. I have to keep up Dawn, and like I don't know, I could be using that Dawn for something else, you know. Oh, I get that. I get that. You want every card to be useful for all the situations. Yeah, I might not even use the the event that turn. Like it might come to that. Okay, right. okay, okay. I like this strategy. So I play four Hawkins, right? This is mainly for. I mean, this is just straight up a good card. Oh yeah, uh, it's the one that does double attack. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spam and then attacks again. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh. I think it's mainly great against Mirror, because like if they have a, you have like a posing eight drop, like this card is just really awkward for them. Oh yeah, and they they get their force yeah. to like use their laws at that point. Yeah, and I don't play any uh the five drop law, the the blocker because I, don't, I think this card is better, and I think uh well in this deck at least, and I th I think this card is very necessary against against Mirror matches. This card like I, I think uh the blocker law is 
is uh, not very good in the mirror. Oh, okay. But yeah. <clears throat> and then we got, you know, our kids. Uh, three to three. Uh, this card is more useful than this card, right? But this card is more broken, right? And I would play more copies of this one, but uh, playing this card could kind of lose you the game against blue. You, have, you do have a good matchup against blue, but if you just play like this, like maybe like two times in a row and they bounce it, like, like you almost lost the game that that you were supposed to win because you're playing because you're <laughs> you, have, you just have a straight up good matchup but just by playing this you can actually lose the game because they could just they could just uh play uh Bill flamingo or mihawk and then like you just basically lost a turn doing nothing so th I, that's why i want to play three of this i think hawkins is better for the mirror i don't know i think i might if anything i might change put this up to four but i'm not sure what to replace and yeah, and I played this broken kid. Like a lot of people don't know how to play around it. I mean, most people were playing purple today, so they didn't actually need to play around it. They didn't need to play against it. They could just blow it up. And uh, yeah, we all know why this card's broken. And so it's like floodgate because it forces them to like attack it. Yeah, and you already you already have all these uh, cards that gain you cards. Remember, the, like I said, those sort of like blockers that draw you cards. So. Oh, so it's just like a, it's like it's like a little wall that like you can just like stall. Yeah, it just makes it just good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's basically. Oh no no, I still got more more deck. I still oh, got more, deck. more sauce. Okay, say yeah. less. Alright, this is like <laughs> the use of stuff. Just basically uh, 2k counters and the most important one. I don't play any events. It's called events, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, nothing much to say. I don't want to play events. I just want to play the counter pad. I don't need to leave up any uh, any um, dawn. And when you do leave up dawn. Your opponent knows what's coming, so so they could actually like play around it. So it's not, in my opinion, it's not that great to play, uh, you know, the events that have counter on it. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, final few questions uh, before we go. So uh, what, what, what matchups did you play against like today? Like, what, like what was the most like represented deck you played? Honestly, this shit was like ten hours ago. <laughs> I don't even know if I remember. Oh man. All right, so I think I want to play the mirror. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of easy, and I, play, I, I played almost every deck today except for blue. Yeah, I think blue is probably one of the worst colors right now. So I played, uh, and mostly I played purple. And uh, yeah, they don't want to play against this leader. Well, man, thank you so much for your time, man. Uh, good luck. Are you going to uh, uh, Canada and Florida? Uh, maybe we'll see. We'll see. All right, man. Well, we look to forward to seeing more of you in the One Piece community. And Congratulations thank you on shot. first place as well, man. Have a great day, man. Just bump it up. Bam. All right, later, man. Inside the puzzle out. And Sparkman. We'll catch you next one. Please scroll and comment. And decide to.